This is the Gracie 7-8. It's a debridement instrument, and specifically, it's known as a curette. It has a simple shank, which is moderately flexible, meaning that it's used to remove light to moderate calculus. It's double-ended and paired, meaning that both ends of the instrument resemble one another. It has a semi-circular cross-section with a rounded toe end. It has a 70 degree angle from its face to terminal shank. This instrument is utilized subgingerly and super gingerly. The reason why this instrument can go sub is because of its rounded cross section, its semicircular cross section. When we put this instrument sub gingerly, it won't cause trauma or harm to the patient if we use it correctly, unlike an instrument with a triangular cross section. It has one usable cutting edge per working end, and we always want to use the lower cutting edge. So it's kind of hard to see on the video, but we want the lower cutting edge. This instrument is utilized in the posterior region of the mouth and is adapted from the distal line angle to the mesial line angle. So posterior region, distal line angle to mesial line angle. Then we go into next tooth, distal line angle to mesial line angle, distal line angle to mesial line angle. Now let's see this instrument clinically. SG78. Distal line angle to mesial line angle. Uh, because of its simple shank, it does not go interproximally, but it is used posterior line angle to line angle. If you're doing mandibular toward surfaces, you're going to be seated um, 9 o'clock toward the front position, starting at your distal line angle using short overlapping strokes. Moving from line angle to line angle. Stroke direction can be either horizontal or vertical or oblique depending on the position of the terminal shank. In general, you're trying to keep your fulcrum placement, you know, one to two teeth away from where you're working. Maxillary toward surfaces, you're going to be seated between uh, nine and ten. Your palm will be up towards the maxilla. Access the maxillary left lingual. 
you can use palm up and you can be seated nine o'clock or towards the front seating zone. Your palm is going to cup under the chin.